Welcome to Focus Washington. I'm Chuck Kincone. My guest today is Lady Judge, who is the chairman of the United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority. Thank you for being on the show with me today. It's a great pleasure. Well, thank you. I mean, it, the thing about atomic energy, it fascinates me. You said there's something now called a new build in England that you're talking about on atomic energy. Can you explain that new build to me a little bit? Yes, of course. At the moment, after a, a renaissance, after a hiatus of 20 to 25 years, we are all thinking about what do we do about climate change, about energy security, about energy independence, and it's, the answer seems to be nuclear. And nuclear new build is about building new nuclear power stations using improved technology from the one that we had before. And with a whole new renaissance of how you deal with nuclear, how you keep it safe, and how you do the, the waste. What is so special about them being new? I mean, what makes them different? I mean, there has always been, over the years, as you and I both know, incredible concern about nuclear energy. Maybe some of it not fair, but nonetheless there. Well, I have to say, the old nuclear power plants were basically safe and were basically and have been running for 50 to 60 years. But the new power plants will, in fact, have even better safety features. It will have emit only 10% of the waste that was emitted by the old nuclear power plants. And they will be new build and therefore a new generation of electric, a base load generation of electricity. So you see it as more dependability, something where we don't have to rely on sort of the confusion in the Middle East or the kind of oil, other energy sources. I do. I think that the problem today is that we do not want to be dependent on any other nation. We want to feel like we have our energy here together and that we'll have enough of it. And nuclear gives base load generation, as I say, it gives a stable price, and it's here. We don't rely on the Arabs. We don't rely on Russia. Remember when Russia pulled the plug on? Yes, I do. We don't want to have that happen to us. So we don't, we don't worry about the cost prices, the jolting up and down. I mean, you, you have in, when, in the wintertime, you have in the poor communities, they talk about how do these people afford energy to keep warm. Energy poverty, we call it. Absolutely. Once you build a nuclear power plant, and it is expensive from an infrastructure point of view, once it's built, the price of electricity is stable and relatively low. It's economic when oil gets to be about $40 a barrel. And you think that this will be practical not only in the United Kingdom, but here in the United States? I do believe it. I believe, indeed, recently, as I understand it, the Department of Energy has been saying that nuclear needs to be part of the mix, and that they've looked at four particular companies to, uh, to start the renaissance, the nuclear renaissance. And we in England are having one. And it is working in England. You're saying you're not running into a lot of opposition. Well, we have spent a lot of time with consultation documents, with talking to the public, with talking to the press, with getting the community on side in order to start to build new power plants. Except for Chernobyl, then you're saying that nuclear energy was fairly safe? Well, we haven't had an accident since Chernobyl for all these years, if Anywhere you think about world. it. There was Three Mile Island, which was slightly before, and I, as I've said before, Three Mile Island wasn't a failure. It was a success. Nobody died. And actually, when the problems happened, everything went inside. There was a, a mechanism at the top to keep everything there. And no, there was absolutely a lot, a lot of lessons learned from, from Three Mile Island, but it wasn't a big drama. Now, you're on the board of the Massey Coal Company, one I think the fourth largest coal company in the United States. Uh, where, and they talk about energy independence. The nuclear power you talk about is energy independence. Where do you see energy independence, and how does that mix work? Well, I think we need all kinds of energy. I think that today's world, there's never going to be enough of any one source. That we need coal, we have it here, we need it, it's plentiful and it's reasonably priced, and we need it. We need oil, it's historically we need oil, we need gas, we need renewables, although they are only a small percent and will only be a small part of the mix, and we need nuclear. We can't afford to throw anything off the table. We need a bouquet of energy sources. That sounds like a great idea. Anyway, thank you for coming to the show, Lady Johnson. This is Chuck and Coney, and this has been Focus Washington.